Now we just getting started on the kickback. Jazzy Black, let's get it going. Hey, what's up? This is Tinashe. Hey, okay, Tinashe, you can't just be casually calling me like that and not expect <laughs> for me to fangirl out. What in the hell? Hey, girl. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Okay, so my name is Jazzy Black. I'm the midday personality out here in Dallas with 97 on a beat. How is your Tuesday going? Is it Tuesdaying? It is. I'm in Canada today, actually. Nice. I've been on tour doing a bunch of shows, so yeah. another one today. I'm in a random hotel room, but, you know, it's a vibe. <laughs> so nice. Ooh, I want to go to Canada so bad, and I know that, I know you like the outdoors, so, like, have you got a chance to, like, do some hiking or do, like, some... Oh, my gosh, I wish. Yeah, I just got here last night, so we haven't really had a chance to do anything. We have sound check today, and then we have the show, so I'm just prepping. But, yeah, not too much outdoor stuff, but I wish. It's a beautiful day outside. Yeah, <laughs> no, totally. Well, first, I just want to tell you congratulations on, I saw on Twitter, look, I don't know these numbers, you know what I'm saying, accurate, but they said you pushing like 70, 80 mil on 333. That's crazy. Yes. Thank you so much. I, I'm just so thankful that I'm getting so much love and support from my fans, you know, being independent now yes. and just still releasing albums and getting those kind of streams. It means so much to me. So I ain't gonna lie to you. 333 was different. I was literally listening to it Every day for like three months straight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that really girl. means a lot to me because I've been just been, you know, following my gut, and my instinct and making art that speaks to me. So I'm glad that it's been impactful to people like you, too. So thank you. Yeah, totally. Um, you know, did you ever uh, have any self-doubt, you know, just going into saying, you know, let me just like do my own thing? A thousand percent. And I still have those days, you know, where maybe I feel a little less confident in making that decision to kind of be my own boss and, mm -hmm. and do everything on my own. It definitely feels like a sacrifice sometimes, but I will say what I've gained by having that freedom creatively and really empowering myself. Yeah is amazing so I'm, I'm really thankful for that and i try to focus on on the fact that i'm able to put out music whenever i want right still play shows whenever i want right. connect with my fans in like a real genuine way so hell yeah it's, it's fulfilling now for real and i know with all of these like transitions your team also has to evolve with you yeah it's been amazing i've been able to make sure that i curate a team that really rides for me 100 mm -hmm. percent connecting with rock nation on the management side has been really awesome for yes. me i feel like open the door for a lot of opportunities and they really allow me to be my own boss creatively and, and do the things I want to do. Yeah. And that means everything to me in a team, somebody that people that really believe in you 150% and want you to win. So I'm very thankful for everyone who's, you know, shown, shown love over no, the last few years. Totally. We are rooting for you. Thank you. Yes. I'm a pour into you this whole interview. You got this new song that's going to come out. Not you linking up with Normani. Yes. So fun. I'm so happy. Finally. So are we. I talked to Normani earlier this year. and We were talking about girl power and collaboration. And I feel like the fans have wanted to see this as well. Yeah. I'm really excited for this collaboration because I've wanted to work with Normani for a really long time. Yeah. Um, I've worked with Calvin Harris before. I've worked with Offset before. And mm -hmm. I just love collaborating with women. I feel like that just hits differently, you know? Right. Um, this music industry, a lot of times it's very competitive. They want to pit women against one another. They like to compare people. Uh, they want to act like there's not enough seats at the table for all of us. So I think any time we can demonstrate collaboration, right. working together, support for one another, it's just really, really, really amazing to see. So super happy to be collaborating with my sister and all the rest of them. No, totally. What are some things that we'll see in the video that we might not Ooh. notice that happen like behind the scenes? We haven't shot a video for that song yet. So fingers crossed that we get that done. Yeah, we haven't so done little, that so one yet. So this little uh, image that's been floating around, that's just like the graphic for the song? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. look, girl, because you know the internet, we will, out, we will make a video for you. And you'll be like, really? Where did I, where did I <laughs> shoot that? What? That's Listen, funny. the pressure from the internet, we may, we may need to make it happen. No, nah, for real. Look, <laughs> speaking of pressure from the internet, what is up with TikTok? I heard TikTok was like doing the same with artists and they were like, well, your song doesn't go viral on TikTok. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think, you know, times are always changing and, and the way that we gauge popularity is always changing, you know, with yeah. social media and different things like that. So there's definitely a lot of pressure from artists, especially new artists, I think to compete in those spaces. So when something like TikTok comes up and it blows up and like it's the new hottest thing, right. of course you're going to want to blow up on TikTok. And I think the key is to just constantly focus on making good art mm -hmm. as opposed to 
you know, making famous, being famous or trying to chase numbers or clout or things like that. Yeah. Because that's a really dangerous game. You can start to lose the plot <laughs> in that instance. Mm-hmm. And I think when it comes to longevity, if you focus on just making Whatever speaks to you, amazing art, you know, it'll speak for itself. I know, that's right. Come on, Reverend Tinashe. She better push the word today. <laughs> so I'm just trying to figure out what is your diet and what is your exercise routine like <laughs> for you to be able to be moving the way you do? Because I'm still trying to learn the goddamn routine the, from the X video. <laughs> oh, yes. And, and bouncing with you on the trampolines. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I try to just focus on staying active. I, I make sure that when it comes to diet, I just try to keep in mind like eating healthy which is a lot easier said than done especially on tour (laughs) but mostly for me it's around being active it's about dancing it's about Mm -hmm. doing different type of workouts when I'm at home whether it's yoga pilates hiking getting outside I I realize if I just move my body I'm able to feel so much better and I think that's really important we are so proud of you and I'm speaking for all the fans thank you new music always on the way Period. Y'all go stream brand new Calvin Harris with my girl Tanache, Offset, and or Money on all platforms. Tanache, bring it home, baby. This is Tanache, and you're listening to my girl Jazzy Black on the Kickback.